Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Today, I'm gonna walk you through the 10 or 10 of the more important or more useful, if you like, filters in Wireshark. Uh, we're talking about uh, actually filters once you have captured, not capture filters. Um, so I think I, I have captured a, a pretty good a pretty good sample here, uh, which will include everything that we want to see. And let's start up, off with the most obvious ones, like IP dot address, and then we put the equal equal, and we use, for example, my local IP address here, eight dot sixty eight dot one. And as I as I type this, you can already see that. During typing, the, the color of the filter bar changes between green and red, right? So that is just simply a syntax check. So you know if it's if it's red, uh, your syntax is incorrect. Something is missing or misspelled or there's a, a, a missing octet for the IP address. Like in this case, as you can see, once we add the one, sorry, once we add the one, it becomes green. Once we hit enter, it applies the filter. It will now filter for every packet that contains the... IP address, uh, the, uh, the IP, IP address that I've just specified here, right? So, uh, so much for the first one. Okay, let's go to the next filter here, which is the the either or filter. So, th this, for example, if I want to look for for every packet or everything in this capture packet uh, in this capture file uh, that that has that contains either TCP or DNS. Uh, then we will do this by just simply typing TCP or DNS. Gonna hit enter. As you can see, we're gonna now see all the TCP and DNS pictures here. Back cap captures here, right? So DNS, TCP. Uh, be careful because initially you might wanna you might wanna you might wanna add TCP and DNS, which will be also changing to green because it's a valid filter. However, TCP and DNS will show you all the packets that contain T DNS and, and TCP, which obviously uh, usually you wouldn't see any. So the OR is the command to make sure that it's either OR. So whatever has TCP or DNS will be shown here. Um, so that's the second one. Uh, let's go up to the third one, which is we specify a particular port, right? So sometimes you would like to to look for a TCP port, for example, TCP dot port equals equals uh, equals equals, and then 22 for SSH, for example, right? So this would now show you everything that has TCP port 22 SSH as either the source or destination. So we're not specifying here yet the source if it's source or destination port. We can do that as well. I'll maybe make a video about that in more detail another time. But basically, you can see here we have a very interesting uh, capture here. Obviously, some somebody from my machine connected via SSH. If you look here, if you remember also, the last time I showed you how to add a geolocation database. So we can see here, this is a, a, a server on Azure, obviously. It's Microsoft Corporation. Uh, it's hosted in Singapore. Uh, that's the IP address. And then we could go along with this one. So... Another one that I use quite often is the TCP dot analysis dot flex. Basically, that will show you everything that has a flag, meaning there's a problem with, with that particular connectivity, right? So you can see there's a lot of retransmissions, duplicate, duplicate acts, and so on and so on. That can be very useful if you're troubleshooting a slow application or if you're troubleshooting some other kind of network network issue. That's probably good, a good way to start narrowing down a little bit the, the, the scope of what you have to look at and take it off from there. Right? Um, then we also sometimes want to just simply exclude the noise from, from a large capture file. Uh, we could do that, for example, by using the usual, like, like in any regular expression setup, the exclamation mark for excluding something. And then we put in brackets whatever we want to exclude for for our case, for example, ARP, ARP or ICMP. Because we don't want to see this in this capture. We close the brackets, it becomes green. You see the it's correct and it will drastically uh, 
reduce usually the the noise if there's a lot of noise. Yeah, uh, we can add anything here that we want to add. Uh, for example, we can add or DNS. Uh, that would be this, or and then we can add HTTP. There you go. So this is simply excluding certain protocols or certain certain types of traffic from your display to just maybe focus on the more important ones. Another one that we could use is okay. Let let's maybe show it this. We can build the game for TCP. Uh, TCP port. Uh, equals equals wait, 22. We, we find our old so and now we could select the first one and there's two ways to what, what we're gonna do in this in this command is basically we follow a TCP stream so there's two ways to do this the simple and the hard way the simple way is just simply by right clicking it here and then say uh, basically follow and follow TCP stream it will bring up uh, 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 the whole the whole story here in a in a separate window, but it will also obviously select the filter based on the um, on the stream ID, or better based on the what we call the um, stream index. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, everything in this will have a stream index of fifty six. Yeah. The other way to do this is if we go back to the TCP port equals equals 22, and we look at any one here, any of the packets here, right? We, we, we will still see this anyway here. So let's let maybe just look at another one. Um, remove the filter. Let's look at this one. What the TCP stream index? So uh, we have here the in for this one it's 45. So TCP dot stream equals sorry equals 45 and that would give us everything in that particular one as you can see as you can see here yeah um another one we can just simply search for plain text word in the tcp stream right so uh, or in, in in the tcp <clears throat> content here in the frame so we could probably Example say TCP contains a typo, contains YouTube. And we would find what we have seen in this one that contains YouTube. Or we could do the same for Facebook. And then again, we would find whatever is here connected to Facebook. That's the contains. Um, another one we could do here is actually we can look for HTTP response header, response codes, or HTTP uh, yeah response code in this particular case HTTP um, dot response code, and then we can say equals equals. And for example, we want to look for everything that is okay, and we get everything that has the response code okay. We could here look also at Let's see if there's any four of wars in this one. Ah, there's none, but maybe some 500s. Also none. But this is basically the way where you could also narrow down on response code in HTTP. Um, and the next one we could look at is the HTTP dot request filter. Just simply request filter, and you'll see all the requests made and posted, uh, as you can see here. This is also sometimes quite interesting if you want to troubleshoot something or see what's going on in your network. Uh, that's basically also quite interesting. And the last one for today, um, let me just do, go to the TCP flag soon. So TCP dot flags, flags, sorry, flags dot soon equals equals one. So anything with a soon in, in the in the in the in the, in the packet will display and this is interesting because with this you for example could look for possible syn attacks syn flood attacks in your network uh, so if you see a, a super high number of this from the same source rapidly incrementing to the same destination same server whatever that indicates usually or that could indicate that that particular server is currently being attacked using a syn flood attack or something similar right so i think 
Well, there you go. <laughs> Sorry for this one. <laughs> yep. So this is basically uh, this is basically it for today. Uh, I'll put the ten. I'll put the ten uh, filters also in the description as well with a link to some further documentation on the Wireshark page for filters. Um, and with this, I wish you a nice weekend and take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.